Let's talk about currency. Next, accounting calendar. So accounting calendar, now I'm configuring for US. Currency is US dollar we are using. January to December, I'm going to configure. So HP, accounting calendar. On which date this uh, from January 1st. And is it monthly calendar? Yes, monthly. Uh, what is the period name? When we say period frequency is monthly, here how many periods comes? 12 periods. And also I would like to have one period for adjustment. In case if any of accounts are missing in that adjustment period, I can make some adjustments. I can make some adjustments. Okay. So adjustment periods, we can have either one or multiple. We can have either one or multiple. Okay. So once at year end, or price at year end and uh, in the mid of the year. Also, you can have beginning of the year one adjustment period and uh, end of the adjustment period, end of the year also we can have uh, one. Or you have other requirement. Let's like, say I would like to have four uh, multiple. For example, it's one of the important question uh, in the interview point of view also. They'll be asking us, while working with accounting calendar in Fusion Financials, without adjustment period, we create accounting calendar. By default, what happens? System will be setting up that one adjustment period at the year end. But I would like to have none. It means I don't want to have any adjustment period. Generally, it won't happen because if they wanted to have some accounts missed or something, in any of the period uh, they have missed, they can do it actually in adjustment period. So if at all client says, I don't want, then you can choose an option. Or uh, we can also use uh, price, it's multiple, two, two adjustment periods we can have at year end. Uh, one is at mid of the year and price at year end we can have. Let's say I would like to have for every period one adjustment period. For example, right now we are in November. End of the November will go for period close. Period close means all the accounting transactions are done or not properly and will go for reconciliation and whether it's all tally or not, any of the transaction is missing. Missing means let's say you created an invoice in account payables, but you are not accounted. In AP payables amount, it is showing $11,000, but uh, accounted amount is $10,000. $1,000 is... Uh, difference that's matching is not done then you cannot close the period it, it throws the exceptions oh, you have to identify what was the one thousand dollars that we'll be discussing in our training in gl period close process epic period close process er like that we have different uh, steps we have to follow uh, right now the another question in here it is i wanted to have the custom select the custom means new number of adjustment periods i want to have 12 adjustment periods. For every period, I would like to have an adjustment period. It's possible. We can choose like this. Okay. But generally, oh, these many adjustments, generally organizations will not allow it because adjustment means the employee has missed or they have not done it properly. So that's that comes as not in a professional way. That's why oh, once at year end, they'll keep it. Any of the missing things will be updated. Here. Okay. That's the option here, adjustment period frequency here. Okay. When we say that monthly we are creating here, it's going to have multiple uh, periods, 12 plus one adjustment period. Total 13 periods we are going to have. For every period we require a name, right? Period one, period two, period three. So what is the format you want to maintain for the period name? So I would like to maintain HP is the prefix for this and separator is hyphen and the format is this. And you can see that first period name, HP January 23. HP January 23, HP February 23. Like that, we'll find different periods. Next button. System is going to show you the list of period names here. Now, total 13 periods, right? We can see that the last one is adjustment period. How to find here? Check. This is your adjustment period that you can find. Okay, 
and uh, these all periods are first quarter this is second quarter third quarter fourth quarter fourth quarter only you have you see that this is starting date is 31st 31st january start and sorry december and ending also same date in that date we'll go for maintain all the details So this is about uh, the adjustment period as well as the accounting calendar configuration. It's very simple, not much complex. It depends on your requirement. Depends on our requirement. We are going to create either one calendar or multiple calendars. Generally, every country will have a standard calendar that we'll follow. In case if we are maintaining multiple ledgers, if at all you want to use the same calendar here also, we can go for use that. Or if you want to maintain separate calendar, you can use separate calendar. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So this is our uh, second uh, C. Ledger means uh, total forces, right? Currency, calendar, chart of accounting structure, and compliance method. Right now we have completed two Cs, which are very simple. Currency calendar. Tomorrow, we'll talk about chart of accounting structure. We'll be discussing tomorrow chart of accounting structure. Okay. Yeah. Let's go through this while doing the practice. If you get any doubts, note it down. Please ask the doubts tomorrow class. Or if you are doing practice, you get any problem, uh, take the screenshot and send it in WhatsApp group. I'll reply it. And even if it is a simple doubt also, please ask me. We'll treat that everybody is a fresher to this and we'll go ahead. Okay. Thank you. I'll share this Excel sheet. Please download from the drive. Okay. Thank you.